Yes, guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. And today, yeah, and um, yesterday, we appointed Ange Postacoglu as new manager of the of the club. And yeah, um, yeah, I found out whilst we were on the mini bus yesterday, and uh, there will be fans that see it like. There will be fans that see it like, oh, this is a rubbish appointment. And there'll be people that be like, oh, okay, let's, let's actually give him time. For me, I'm, I'm in the middle of it. And the, the guy has managed in Australia, Japan, and of course, man, he managed Celtic. Um, you know, there's not really much competitiveness in those three leagues in Australia, Japan, and Scotland. But, you know... Yeah, you know, he was quite successful with those clubs, especially with Celtic. So he was quite successful with Celtic. Um, he won a lot of trophies there. He brought in the, he brought in the correct players there. And, uh, you know, they won a lot of trophies, and they? Won the league quite comfortably over Rangers and Celtic, which is better than Rangers at the time, if you have to be honest. But... But you know what, you know, you know what, I, I, I don't know what to make of it, you know. I think other people's reactions to it. Other people are like, oh, Other people are like, oh, this is rubbish, absolutely rubbish. The guy, the guy's managed in three non-important leagues. And yes, and it's just, and yeah, but people are like, oh, let's let's actually give the man time, let let him pick the players that he wants, and he wants let let the pick let him pick the players he doesn't want, in the the current members of the squad to leave, and then he can pick players, you know, because I know we're interested, we're interested in Harry Maguire, like Harry Maguire, he's so bad. On this, but I think we're interested in Harry Maguire. Harry Kane might be going to Real Madrid. Harry Kane could, could obviously Karen Benzema's gone off to Al Ittihad in the Saudi league, so we he so Real Madrid are trying to get Kane. But you know, God knows what Ange Postecoglou is going to do. But you know, we need to give him time. Look at all the other managers: Conte, Nuno, Mourinho. Con I think I've already said Conte, but we didn't give them time, honestly. We lose like f six games in a row, sacked. Sacked. We need to do what we did with Pochettino. We actually need to give him time and let Ange Postacoglu pick the players that he wants. Pick the players that he wants. You know what? We're interested in Harry, in Harry Maguire. If he wants Harry Maguire, bring him in. I don't want Harry Maguire, but if that's what he wants, bring him in. Just makes sense. Honestly, like I said, look what he did at Celtic. He brought in players like Kyogo, Jota, Maida. And look at them now. They're absolutely balling it out with Celtic. And also, before, and finally, because literally for the past, like, for ages, we've been watching boring and defensive football. But Pastor Coglu is an attacking manager. He likes attacking football. No, none of this boring defensive crap. Finally, we get to watch some attacking football at why at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, why are they? Whatever you want to call it. Honestly, look, look at look look in some games when Conte had that surgery when Stellini came in. Honestly, I remember, I remember what I went I went to the West Ham game when we won two 0 back in October. Honestly, on the attack. We were absolutely brilliant. Kulisevsky, or I don't know if it was Kulu or Richardson, one of them two, Kane, Son, Bentancourt, Hoiberg, they were, but on the attack were so good. But we just decided to sit back and defend. And then, when we're like winning like 2 0 or something, we sit back and defend and we let teams come at us. Pastor Koglu has got to try and change that. He's got to try and stop this boring defensive football. We need to go more attacking. And honestly, you know, with no European football for next season, look what Arsenal did. They had no European football. And then Arsenal had no European football going into the 2021. The 21, no. No. What season was it? 
I think they had no football going into the 2020-2021 season or the... Yeah, I think they had no European football going into the 2020-2021 season. I know what happened to them. They got... They, they bought in players. They bought in the right players. And then they got into... I think it was the Europa League or something. Which is good. So I think with us not having European football going into next season... We need to, we need to get, we need to get rid of the players that are dog water, like Luis. He can, Luis can leave, Donny can leave, Sanchez can leave. Honestly, and also, I, I want, I watched. So I follow this guy called Mr Black on TikTok. He's a Spurs fan, and he said, he said that it's better to sell Harry Kane now, because his contract runs out. I think next summer or something, but you all know what will happen. City will be City will want him. United. For me, it's probably better to sell him now. He wants to leave, and like I said earlier, with Benzema going to Saudi Arabia, and if we can get, if we can, if we can, like you know, eighty million, if we can get so between eighty and hundred million for Kane, if Kane goes to Real Madrid, good for him. We can get, I don't know, Oshiman maybe, we could get, I don't know, we could get to Oshiman, we could get someone good. Honestly, it's about time that we give our manager time. It's about time we give him time and let him improve and develop the team. But yeah, anyway, um, put in the comments first, what's your thoughts on the appointment of Ange Postapoglu? Yeah, in a bit.